Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, we're going to be doing my spring clean and undecorate of everything. You guys saw I did multiple parts this year of my spring 2021 home decor. I took you long into each room, cleaning with it, decorating with it, but now it is time to undecorate. It may seem early for some of you. I know some of you are actually just getting started in decorating for the spring season, but one for me because I do YouTube, I have to do things a lot earlier to give you guys, of course, inspiration. And two, I have a soon to be one year old, which means she's absolutely into everything I want to say the kitchen stools I probably have like one or two left on there because she has yanked all of them down and then my kitchen towels she pulls that constantly probably a good five to six times a day everything that I do nice she basically just destroys so I'm sure a lot of you mamas can relate to that so I thought we enjoyed it we kind of saw all the decor felt spring like in our home and now it's time to just go ahead store it away for the following year so we're going to be cleaning on decorating the kitchen the living room and the dining room I'm nice and cozy because it is like 40 degrees today definitely not spring like around here I feel like we're getting little teasers here on the East Coast of like spring weather and then it comes back and either is really rainy or really cold today is definitely a cloudy chilly day here so I'm nice and comfortable and I actually will share this little set with you guys if you can see here it's like a matching two-piece really cozy and comfortable and soft and it's only ten dollars for the entire set so if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos be sure to give them a big thumbs up so i can know to film more definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below if you're new here i would love to have you to share more home decor cleaning and organization and without further ado let's get right into this one welcome back to another new video it's so crazy editing this one to realize that my house is totally completely undecorated for spring already although for a lot of us it just got started um, but i'm first going to be beginning in the kitchen area i'm going to be putting away all the dishes that i actually have on the drying rack because right before i started filming i had a load of dishwasher begin so i did not have any space to go in the dishwasher of the dirty dishes that are in the sink right now so i'm going to make room on there this way i can hand wash everything that's in and have a nice fresh clean sink. After I went around all of my kitchen area and living room to see any dirty dishes that need to be placed into the sink, it's time to begin hand washing. I'm using these new gloves that I actually got over at Home Goods, and you'll see in just a short bit, I'm actually going to take them off because I did not like them at all. I honestly think they're probably too big. I, they probably didn't have like a small medium, so I got a medium large size, which I have really small hands. And then I've been trying to wear gloves more again, starting to wash my dishes because my eczema has kind of flared up up anytime the seasons tend to change and things like that or I use like harsher cleaning products if you guys saw I did that viral cleaning video a lot of those chemicals were a lot stronger than I'm used to so I think it definitely affected the eczema on my hands the flare up And I'm just taking my Dawn Power Wash and spritzing that onto a baking pan that actually we made bacon on earlier in the day. So it was like greasier than usual. So I needed to let that soak for definitely a longer duration than usual. And then I'm rinsing out all of my... Um, 
fruit trays to go ahead and place some fresh strawberries give those a good cleaning as well to put them in the fridge it makes it so much easier when capri or mila need some fresh veggies or fruits that they're already washed and stored away to reach for um, also you guys can see believe it or not that baking sheet used to be a beautiful light pink color but of course my husband he used it one time and then he totally destroyed it he did that to all of my pink pans unfortunately so if you guys have any tips i've tried a couple of different methods but nothing Nothing has worked to get rid of all of that staining that's on there let me know down in the comments I am open to definitely trying out some new things I am then going to be making my way onto my kitchen island now that all the dishes are clean. I'm going to spray down the countertops and then I'd like to also clear off the dish tray that I kind of keep my soaps on as well as the faucet. I like to give that a good wipe down since it does tend to get some watermarks and things like that after dishwashing. Then it was officially time to get rid of some decor. I absolutely love these wreaths. They looked so beautiful. I loved the color scheme that I went with for this year. But as I mentioned, already two of them, I did a total of four on my kitchen island. Capri ripped down. So it was time to just put them all away since I didn't have to constantly rearrange. And then the only type of spring decor that I kind of kept there, if you saw my little coffee bar area, I stuck to that since that was pretty neutral. And I only had a small little sign there, which obviously she can't reach. So I got that put away. Way. and I wanted to show you I'm gonna link these in the description bar I got this adorable little stand as well as this new oil dispenser from Amazon I have tried probably six different oil dispensers and they all leaked all over the place and I was worried they would ruin my quartz countertops this has been working out great so if you're in the market I highly suggest that one and then a lot of you actually told me that the spray away works really nicely on appliances like stainless steel so if you saw the other video I didn't love it on my glass or mirrors but I used it on the stove and it actually gave it a really nice sparkle and I was loving what it did on the stove area. And for the living room, I, of course, was first doing a little tidy up of all the girls, well, mainly Mila, <laughs> of all the stuff that was on there that didn't belong, putting it back in its place. And then I'm going to be removing all of the spring decor that I changed out for that coffee table, taking my Method wood cleaner, giving that a good spray down and wiping it down. I use this on a daily basis because it just smells so amazing. You guys already know this one, as well as the squirt mop for wood floors or Method are my absolute favorite. And then I'm placing back my tray that I previously had with some existing decor. If you guys are actually local, tri-state area and interested, I'm currently selling my coffee table as well as that tray there. So send me a message and I'll definitely respond back to you. Um, or just leave a comment down below and I'll give you my email address if you guys are truly serious inquiries only interested in the coffee table and or tray. 
Now I'm going on to the sofas. I'm removing all of my spring pillows. Those were, of course, like that mustard yellow type of shade. So removing those and getting back to just putting my existing pillows that I previously had. Then for my fireplace, this is of course a wood painted fireplace. I'm just using my wood cleaner. And then for the glass portion of the fireplace, I wanted to try my spray away on here to see how it worked. And it did a pretty good job on there as well. So I'll probably be using that again for this area. And then wiping down of course the marble and the lanterns that like collect dust and things like that, getting those all cleaned up. After all the spring decor was put away in the living room and I put everything back in its place, gave it a tidy up, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum. And then while I had the vacuum out, of course, that is when I make my way back into the kitchen to vacuum the whole kitchen area as well. Then the final area that I had to work on on decorating and cleaning up was our dining room. So I'm just removing any items that were placed on the dining room table that didn't belong. That chair, as you can see there, we tend to put like coats and stuff like that. So I wanted to hang it back on the coat rack. And then I'm rearranging all the napkins, the plates, the place, um, not placeholders, <laughs> the um, chargers underneath, getting that all together, all the placemats. This way I can store it back under my credenza area for following seasons or following decorating that we're going to be doing. We actually didn't end up using any of this table because plans changed last minute instead of hosting it at our house this year like we were going to. Um, my grandpa decided that he wanted to have us over at his house. So we went ahead and took the drive down and spent it there. And then I like to place my wood fillers back inside of the boxes. It's just easiest to store for following seasons because I can easily see it if I'm going to be using it again or mixing and matching different type of decor together. It makes it really easy to know exactly what's inside. And then I'm taking that same daily wood cleaner and I am using it for the surfaces of my dining room table.
And then for my dining room, I'm also contemplating what to do as a centerpiece. So I'm still undecided. I decided to keep that little tray there with the florals because I thought it looked pretty. And then I'm wiping down my credenza with the wood cleaner and ultimately going to finish off with giving everything a good wipe down. This now completes my spring clean and undecorate with me for 2021. I hope you all enjoyed watching and can rewatch this once it comes time to decorate your space. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new, new here. Thumbs it up if you enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.